This is an updated video on how to set up the DE10 Nano. Now I did a video on this some years ago and a lot about the setup has changed. And as you can see, I've got a fancy 3D printed case now for it. So if you're new to the DE10 Nano or you've had one hidden in your drawer for some time and you want to get back into using it again, join me as we look at the Mr. FPGA. So to follow along, you're going to need the DE10 Nano, a power cable for it, OTG USB adapter to plug in your keyboard and mouse, a HDMI lead and monitor, a network cable, and finally, a micro SD card. So I'm on the Mr. Main website at the moment. I'll leave a link in the description. This is looking very similar to my previous video but the whole setup process has changed quite considerably. So if we go to setup guide on the right hand side and then we scroll down and the new process is now called Mr. Fusion installation method which is recommended. So the things that we need is a SD card writer program. So you've got Belena Etcher or Win32 Disk Imager. If you're on Linux you could even use DD to write the image. Uh, in this example, I'm using Blender Etcher, which you can download from here and install. So get that installed. Then we need to download the latest version of Mr. Fusion. Step one, download release. At the time of this video in January 2021, we're on version 2.2. .2, so you just download that uh, zip file there. I insert the SD card that I'm going to use and load up Blender Etcher flash from file. Select my file, Mr. Fusion, select the target. My target is this Kingston 8 gig. So with that ticked, go select and then flash. Then it's validating. And then you'll probably get this message come up. Don't worry, Windows is not sure what's on this card. So don't click on format disk, just click on cancel and then OK. And you should see a flash complete so successful it's been written we're going to take the sd card out and we're going to put that into our de10 nano so we plug in the network cable the sd card hdmi and then finally the otg usb and then all that's left to do is turn on the power so we get the screen come up saying mr fusion is initializing the mr please stand by it should not take more than two minutes and the system will automatically restart when done. So you should see a screen similar to this that says no files. Press escape off to the left and then we'll just go make sure that we've got an IP address. Yes we've got an IP address. Then we go back over to the right and then we're going to go up and go to scripts and go to enter. And this says, this is a dangerous operation. Scripts can control over the whole system and may damage the files and settings. Right, there's an update script that is in here. So uh, we need to run that. So that's fine. We'll say, yes, we want to continue. And then we need to go to update. And then basically what this does is it goes out to the internet. Hence why we needed the ethernet cable. And now this is going to go out and get all the latest cores. You can run this at any time. So you can always get the latest cores by, by just running this script. And after it's complete, uh, you should then see a menu similar to this. So we've got Arcade. So if I go into Arcade, you'll see that there's loads of Arcade cores that have been installed. Uh, computer, a load of cores in here that um, I haven't seen before and there's been a massive amount of development gone on with the Mr. Project since my last video. So it's going to be really interesting to look at some of these cores. So we've got like a uh, VIP20, could try loading that up. There we go, VIP20. To get out of that just press F12 and then go over to the right and then do reboot and then we go back to the menu again so you've got uh, as well as computers you've got consoles 
it's Atari's, you've got Game Boy, Genesis, so loads of different cores. And under utilities, you've got like a memory test tool as well, which can be quite handy. And I'll leave you with one final little tip. If you don't like the background, just press F1 and you can change between different backgrounds. So yeah, pressing F1, these are all the different kinds of backgrounds that you can get. I think this one's my best one. So there we go. There's a quick guide on how to install Mister in 2021. I'm going to be having a look through some of these cores and uh, playing some of these. So watch out for some more videos on the Mr. FPGA. It's been a while since I've used this. So uh, yeah, it's going to be good to get back into using this again. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.